George Harriman was an American cartoonist who started working at the turn of the 20th century. His most famous creation was Crazy Cat, which started in 1913, and he did it until he died in 1944. Crazy Cat is an interesting strip in that it has a very much of a formula. There are three characters, Crazy Cat, Ignatz the Mouse, and Officer Pup, who's a dog. Uh, Crazy Cat is in love with Ignatz. And there's, there's no, uh, we don't know what gender Crazy Cat is. Is it he or is she? We don't know. Sometimes the character plays both roles, but he or she, Crazy Cat, is in love with Ignatz. But Ignatz returns that affection by throwing a brick at her or doing mean things to her. And Officer Pup, who also is infatuated with Crazy Cat, is, his job is to protect Crazy Cat from Ignatz. So he will, he'll arrest Ignatz and throw him in jail and punish him. So that little strange love triangle is the, at the center of most of the stories, over and over repetitively. But what Harriman does with that simple formula is amazing. It, he's so creative, every page is different. He experimented with the layout, with drawing techniques, uh, with dialect even music and songs and verse and, and everything. It's just, it's just amazing to look. Each piece is different. Por el contenido, pero también a nivel formal, por el tipo de paisajes, el tipo eh, paisajes desérticos, las formas, que la, la, el interés por lo primitivo que tenía eh, la obra de Herriman, de algún modo vemos que hay paralelismos y antecede eh, algunas de las cosas eh, que sucedieron o que, les impo que fueron importantes para los artistas de vanguardias. No nos sorprende que Herriman haya sido la gran influencia eh, de la, desde el cómic en artistas o autores literatos o artistas visuales de vanguardia desde eh, Falstrom, que en concreto hizo una pieza eh, literalmente refiriéndose a eh, Herriman o a T.S. Eliot o el propio Picasso, sabemos que eh, Picasso y eh, Gertrude Stein eh, miraban bastante a menudo las tiras cómicas que le llegaban a esta desde Estados Unidos y en concreto eh, Herriman. No es la primera vez que el cómic entra en el museo, de hecho en la colección tenemos obras de, de Nazario. Para nosotros es importante eh, porque el cómic implica un espacio, o el tipo de cómic que hacía Herriman, un espacio de creatividad, un espacio donde hay una serie de elementos que ya tal vez no se dan en cierto tipo, en ciertas manifestaciones de las artes eh, visuales.